My name is Bodine Travis Pamipi and I'm a lead estimator for Hogan. We know that road cones are iconic in our industry and, and unfortunately with PVC based road cones uh, they have quite a short lifespan and that's mainly in complying with the spec. In addition to this the industry has a massive demand for these cones per year so what we have in the end is a massive annual waste stream that becomes an industry problem. So we contacted Matter Group back in March of this year and when I found out that they could recycle PVC that was great news for me. I think it's a really awesome program, it's great for the environment and it's a great standard to set for others as well to follow. For me personally as well as my company Fulton Hogan we're all about having a sustainable future. To think that these cones have got a second life is a pretty great feeling and I think that others in the, in the industry can follow that example. Everyone's got a story or a memory with cones in New Zealand growing up. So I think to have some sort of opportunity for these cones to have a better life, I think it resonates with everyone. So I'm Dylan Matthews. The matter's been around for 30 years this year. Initially started out or almost pioneered recycling and plastics in New Zealand. So Matter is largely a company that produces safety surfacing products. Uh, we play largely in the playground space, but also in anti-fatigue surfacing. Fulton Hogan approached us to see if we'd be interested in receiving some road cones from them to try recycling. The trial process with Fulton Hogan kicked off with about 20 tonne of road cones off their Auckland site, and we managed to shred them up and turn them into our black industrial mats pretty quickly. We take those road cones and we put them into a big shredder granulator, which is effectively just cutting it all up uh, into tiny particles. We are then putting it through a big blending process where we're adding in new pigments, getting the, the right softness to the sort of texture of the mats, and then they go into our injection molders where we um, send that blended mix through and out comes the final product being the mat for the industrial sector. So this is the product that we're making out of the road cones that Fulton Hogan are sending us and what we have been doing through the trial phase is testing this product on some various Fulton Hogan sites as well. It's been working really well for them and it also works really well for us using the road cones. The quality of the product that we're making is just as good if not better than um, using raw materials that would make fresh plastic. The other great opportunity with the road cones from Fulton Hogan is that we can now start recycling them into playground mats as well. And the excellent thing with that is that they've started a journey, uh, the road cones as a safety product on the roads, and then we're chipping them up now and turning them into a safety product for children on playgrounds. The exciting thing about this journey that we've come to with Fulton Hogan is that today we're stopping um, road cones going into landfill and we're also preventing new or fresh plastic being put into our mats to go into the market. So we're very excited as a result to be working with Fulton Hogan. We need to get these cones out of our awa and set a standard for New Zealand or Aotearoa and also the world.